Does your car sound like this? Are you too scared to drive in these California roads? Well, welcome to today's episode, how to make your VQ loud and legal. In today's episode, I'm pretty much gonna go over different exhaust setups that you can do on your VQ to remain low key here in California. Oh my God! Wow! Yeah, I got this question on one of my TikTok videos, so I thought I'd make a whole YouTube video on it. Hopefully this helps out primarily people in California. I don't know if any other states do that state ref kind of deal that California is doing, but if you guys do that and cops are bothering you, I hope you guys enjoy some of these setups that can kind of remain low key. So I'm hoping she starts because whenever I don't drive her for a long time, she tends not to start. Why don't I drive her? Well, because it's loud. And then we're also gonna do be doing another episode. Pretty much, I was going over how this harness right here is not safe. Mounted to the rear seat, and look at that suede job I did in the back. All those cut panels, look how trash it is. It looks like, it's really trash. So basically, we're gonna have an episode real, real soon of ripping out the entire interior. Like, I'm talking about the suede, uh, the floor mats, the carpet, everything. And we're just gonna redo it all. I'm gonna put everything black because I wanted black interior. We're gonna, we're gonna pretty much turn our tan carpets to black, redo the suede, make sure it's professionally done, and everything. The interior is gonna be looking nice. So here we go. Will it start? I don't think it will, but. Well, maybe it will. And it did. What? Right on. And it's got AC. Perfect. Alright guys, so that was a very, very good example of what not to sound like here in California. Like I said, I don't drive her a lot, I don't want to get pulled over, which kind of defeats the point, which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of like, do I sell the G35 or not? And I know you guys are saying, bro, don't sell it, that's iconic channel, and I, I get you guys. I love the G35, it means so much to me. I, I can't even drive her. What's the point of me having this G35 when I can't even drive her? Sounds freaking good. I, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah, let's get on with today's episode. Loud and legal here in California. Here is the first setup to run. If you just want a little bit more punch out of your G35, but you don't want to get pulled over, you want to stay low key. All right, guys. So the first thing that you don't want to do is remove your cats. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Don't want, so for all these options, we're gonna go ahead and keep your cat. One reason only, if you remove your cats, you're automatically illegal. We can't have that. This is loud and legal, not loud and illegal. A lot of you guys remove the cats, including me, because we want more power out of VQs. We want our VQs to breathe better. I get you guys. Even if you do full bolt-on tunes on your G35, guys, I'm sorry, I'm gonna offend some of you guys. Full bolt-on G35, that you can feel the difference, like they're a little bit faster than stock, but the difference is, is very minimal. I'm talking, you're talking about 230 wheel, full bolt on, you're talking about 260, about maybe 270. We're talking about 30, 40 horsepower difference. And you do a bunch of mods, right? Plenum spacer, full exhaust, take out the cat, uh, air intake. You spend a lot of money just for 40 horsepower more. And a tune, a tune costs $1,000 plus. So all of that just to get 40 horsepower more. <laughs> I really want to refrain myself from telling you guys to chop off your muffler doing a muffler delete because I, I, I just can't do that because I don't know what it is some G35 sound good with it off but then some other person will do it and it'll sound absolutely horrible and it'll sound like a trumpet right so we, I'm just gonna completely eliminate that muffler delete and we're gonna go straight to exhaust system so the first exhaust system that I recommend and it's also very budget 
okay this one is about five hundred dollars from Injuku racing and it's called the ISR exhaust okay it's a single exit exhaust it's a 2.5 inch piping which is one of the reasons why you don't get too much rasp from it one of the reasons why it's cheaper and one of the reasons why it sounds so good the ISR exhaust is 500 bucks the reason a lot of these VQs sound like loud, trumpety and stuff like that is because we add a three inch piping exhaust. If you add a two and a half inch, it'll give you better tone, less rasp, net, less uh, drone inside the cabin, it's cheaper. So get an ISR exhaust, it comes with the resonator as well, so that's a very good exhaust to start off with. Your VQ will sound good and you'll stay low key and you'll be legal. For some reason. That is not enough. You're like, man, I still want more. Go ahead and chop off the resonator off your ISR exhaust system. Chopping off that exhaust, that resonator will probably cost you maybe anywhere from $50 to $100. And your exhaust system will sound louder a tad bit. And, and you'll still have your cats on. You'll be legal and you'll be set to go. Hopefully that satisfies you. I'm going to go ahead and recommend this. The only reason I'm going to recommend this is because it satisfies the conditions of being low key, sounding good. But the reason why I was hesitant on recommending it is because it is really, really expensive. So this next exhaust system, it's a whole catback exhaust. It goes straight from your cats all the way to the back. I'm talking about the Motordyne exhaust. Motordyne goes from a two and a half inch to three inch. It's not a full three inch. It goes from two and a half to three inch. But because of that, it has one of the best tones. If you guys look up any good sounding G35, you'll most certainly see it. It's recommended, the Motordyne exhaust. It sounds really good. It's got resonators. It's not the loudest, but that's the goal of the game, to stay low key, and it'll give you that punch. If you full throttle it, you'll hear it. It'll sound good, but when you're daily driving, it stays low key, you're under the hood, no cops are gonna bother you. It is about $2,000 just for that cat back. That's a lot to justify, especially when your G35 could cost $2,000, you know? So you can buy an exhaust that costs as much as your car. It's kind of crazy, right? All right, guys, we have one last exhaust setup that I want to recommend to you guys. And this one, this one might kind of go overboard, okay? I'm not going to lie. This is kind this is loud and barely legal, maybe legal. This one, we're keeping our cats on, but we're going with a dual Z1 Motorsports exhaust. It has two mufflers in the back. But we're also gonna add a vibrant resonator on it. Uh, it's a uh, vampire red. V vampire red. Thank you, I appreciate it. Vampire blood red. It's from Ravuni.com. You guys wanna use my code BEDI, you get 14% off. The wrap comes under $500 kind of a steal anyways back to the topic of the video we're gonna add a vibrant resonator i have one on this it helps so much with the drone obviously with my car it's a little different case because it's extremely loud because of the supercharger and whatnot but the vibrant resonator will help you guys paired with the dual cat back exhaust from z1 it's gonna be definitely louder than all the other options i mentioned above i mean below or prior and those exhausts also come with silencers if you install those silencers on the tips of your exhaust it will 100% from experience be quiet. That being said, thank you guys for joining me today. Like I said, we have just purchased the wide body kit for our 2023 Nissan Z. I just purchased it yesterday. We're gonna be renting a van, heading down to uh, SoCal, Los Angeles, and picking up the kit next week. And we will officially begin the SEMA project right here, Street Hunter, wide body kit on my z carbon fiber edition with some three piece wheels it's gonna have two piece rotors i mean there's gonna be a whole lot of things going on with the z i'm excited for it i hope you guys are excited i'm starting a whole new series on it and i'll catch you guys when that series starts peace out y'all ah!